Now, great quality of life for doctors. All health analyzing tools, whether that be a PDA or health analyzer, will now continuously update the patient's health. And you can even directly see it. It says scan mode active. So if I punched them, it takes about one second, and then it'll update their damage in real time. And you can even see the passive healing work in real time. Obviously, that will work with any type of healing. This is awesome for doctors, meaning you no longer have to do 4,000 clicks to figure out the health of your patient. Ambazol has been changed. Ambazol itself now requires zombie blood, and Ambazol Plus now requires Omnis, and that means you cannot preemptively make Ambazol before a zombie outbreak starts. A glass box with the antique laser inside of it has been added. It's uh, actually not mapped anywhere yet, so you probably won't see it in game right away. It might take a bit. Uh, but yeah, the captain's laser will not spawn in his locker anymore. It will be in his glass box. Gibbing has been changed to actually throw the giblets out slightly in a random direction. Um, doesn't really directly change gameplay necessarily, but it looks a little better. Botanist can now mutate pea pods to make laughing pea pods. Inside a laughing pea pod, there is a reagent literally called laughter. As you can imagine, when you consume it, it makes you laugh. You can now build Atmos devices on tiles that are occupied by small windows and on lattice, meaning that Atmos techs will be a lot less frustrated trying to build things in space or fix rooms that have directional windows or wind doors. Beanbags not only do 40 stamina damage a shot, so it means that shotguns with beanbags will take 3 shots to stun someone if you shoot them rapidly. That also means that the first shot won't instantly slow someone down, making follow-up shots more difficult. This is probably the biggest nerf to bartenders, meaning they can't perfectly two-shot somebody into a stamina crit with their beanbag double barrel. The observation kit now comes with a surveillance camera monitor board, and the board will come inside the cardboard box called the observations kit. And once you build the computer, it will be a camera monitor, which lets you view any of the cameras on board the station, meaning you can do some surveillance. Last thing I'll cover this week is the modified Flan cargo shuttle. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be this trashed. I don't know why it's this trash, but anyways, it is the first of cargo shuttles to be redone. Um, I think it was tested before and then had to be removed. But anyways, I think this is a sign that stations in the future may have different cargo shuttles. Anyways, that's all I got for now. I want you to thank all of our maintainers and contributors for all their hard work to the game. And thank you for watching.